Alright guys, if you haven't been living under a rock, you probably saw the guy Eddie Avu on your Instagram feed talking about foods you shouldn't be eating and what you actually should be eating to feel your best, look your best and build muscle. Now as we all know, with things which go viral and get famous, there's almost a part to it which is true but also a part which isn't true or doesn't apply for everyone. Because of that, I want to analyze the advice Eddie is giving out to the world and actually show you why this might apply for you and why it might doesn't apply for you and you're better off with a different diet approach. So that at the end of the video you actually know what works the best for you. Now before I start, you'll probably ask yourself why should you listen to me? I mean I don't have a huge following like Eddie. Then I also don't have a bodybuilding background like him. So why should you listen to me? Well the thing is yes, I don't have as much experience as Eddie. But I personally also went through a transformation and I found out which diet approach actually makes me feel the best look the best and help me build muscle. So I actually also found out lots about foods and personally I think it's always best getting your information from lots of different people and then find out for yourself what works the best for you. And I personally even think you probably can relate a bit better to me because I'm just a normal guy who goes to work, likes to go to the gym to build muscle and wants to feel his best and look his best. And some people like for example Eddie go into the extreme and you might can relate to him. Now on this note, I actually right away want to start with the things I agree on which Eddie is saying. Now his main message is that we should avoid sugary and sweet stuff. And I mean for almost everybody this is pretty clear. Sugar and sweet stuff aren't good for us. We should fuel our body with them. They firstly don't give us the nutrients and vitamins that we need and secondly can even interrupt our body. Some people get acne because of sugar and other people get diabetes. So it's clear that this is something we shouldn't eat every day. Then in addition to that, Eddie is also promoting the proteins from animals and this is also great advice because actually the proteins from animals are the most bioavailable proteins. This means our body can absorb them the most and actually also even build the most muscle with them. But still I need to say I think Eddie doesn't have enough variety. He just eats lots of eggs, some meat, very rarely eats fish and a little bit of veggies. Even thought this is a good diet approach approach and I do believe that this was the strategy which helped him to transform. I don't think this is the best advice for the general population because many people would benefit a bit more from having variety in their diet. Because at the end of the day, if you want to eat healthy, this doesn't mean that we have to eat the same foods over and over again. We can have loads of variety, try different foods every day and never having to eat the same meal over and over again. Because I personally also think it's very important that we enjoy the things that we're eating. Food shouldn't just be fuel for us. Of course, if you just look at it irrationally, this is the most important thing. Our body doesn't care if food tastes good. It just needs the minerals and vitamins in there. But still, if we can make those foods taste great, then it's more sustainable for us. And this is another key for progress and longevity. We aren't able to stick to a diet which doesn't taste good. And if we can't stick to a diet, then it isn't a good diet. You probably have to agree on this one, right? Then at this point I also need to mention that Eddie is actually demonizing sugary and sweet stuff. And yes I agree sugary and sweet stuff is bad as I said, but still demonizing food is as bad as this. Because when we restrict ourselves from these foods, this actually can cause stress within our body. Now I know if we are this stoic man or this irrational person who can just totally put all of his focus on what his body needs, then we would never eat sugary and sweet stuff or touch a chocolate bar. But most people aren't like this and this isn't bad either, we just need to work with it. Because when we say to ourselves we can't have chocolate and eat any sugary stuff, then we are restricted and sometimes maybe even feel stressed because we have to avoid certain foods. And this can potentially even be worse for our body. The cortisol release from this situation instead of just eating the chocolate bar every now and then and then not having to crave it for some time. 
So this is actually the advice I give for most people. You shouldn't categorize foods as good or bad. It's all about the amount of it. If you eat lots of it, this is where the poison is coming from. But if you only eat a little bit, you won't get fat in one day or get diabetes in one day. You would have to eat much more of it to actually get there. Well, I still need to say that I understand that Eddie is talking about this. Because whenever you are extreme or have a very strong opinion, those are the things which go viral. People want to see those things. People don't want to hear the balanced stuff or the things which actually are the most helpful for them. They want to hear about opinions they have never heard before. Because of that, Eddie is also probably leaning into this. He goes more and more extreme because he wants to reach more people and maybe even make more money. And at the end of day this is okay most people out there are just about the money and want to make a living off of it and as we see Eddie is still talking about things which are true but I still don't think these are things which work for the general population now to finish off I actually really quick want to talk about the things I apply into my diet every day and I have to say I'm also applying some principles Eddie has but the right way is starting with the first one. Eddie is fasting until 4 or 5 p.m. in the afternoon so he isn't eating anything until then and oftentimes his first meal are like 8 eggs and nothing else to it. Me personally I am also fasting in the morning I do a fasted workout but after my workout, I right away eat a meal because I want to optimize muscle growth. Now, Eddie probably isn't about optimizing his muscles now anymore. He used to be a bodybuilder and he wanted to optimize muscle growth. Now, he probably just does the fast out of convenience reasons. But if you're someone who wants to optimize muscle growth, then you shouldn't fast the whole day. Your body won't be able to optimize muscle growth. Now this doesn't mean that you have to eat 5 or 6 meals a day, which some bodybuilders are saying. You're best off just eating 3 or 4 meals and spreading your protein intake evenly on those meals. This is how you optimize muscle growth. Then in addition to that, I mainly get my proteins from animals. So I do eat eggs every day. Then I also eat meat every day and try to implement fish every now and then because they have great minerals, which for example meat don't have. So there as you can see, I also have a few similar principles as Eddie. I also try to avoid sugary and sweet stuff. But as I said, every now and then, when I really crave some chocolate, I allow myself to have a chocolate bar. And then I'm good for a week and don't crave it anymore. And this is what I call a flexible diet and a diet which is sustainable and the best for most people. Because you will be able to follow it till the rest of your life. And this is how long a diet should be able to last. Now, I really hope that you were able to learn a few more things after watching this video. Because if you are able to eat 90% of the time healthy foods, then you will also achieve a transformation like me or Eddie. And at the end of the day, if you're consuming content like this, you're probably all about transforming and optimizing your body. So this is how you can do it. Now, if you found this video helpful, I would appreciate it a lot if you would like and subscribe. And then I will see you in the next one.